you. Today we're going to take a look at all kinds of things. We're going to look at some boots, which are here in this box. Did you know that Caterpillar makes boots? I had no idea they made boots. I just found out about a week ago. And I ordered a pair for my older son that he picked out that he would like to have. A pair of steel-toed work boots. And they just came in the mail. And I thought I would show them to you. They're actually pretty cool. I kind of want a pair for myself, but I don't know when I would ever wear them. So I probably won't get any for me. But So I'm just going to lift the lid off this little box here. I'll show you something else that I, I thought was kind of cool. It, it doesn't take much to make me happy these days, I guess. But look, you know what's really cool? In this box, we have Caterpillar tissue paper. Look, it has the cat logo on it. And it has hashtag EarthMoversCatFootwear.com. They didn't sponsor me. I just thought it was cool. I just wanted to show you. So we have this gray tissue paper. The underside is kind of a lighter gray. You can see there. Okay. So now we'll take a look at these cool boots. are a size 12. But check them out. I'm going to move the box where I can actually show them to you a little better. It's cool though that it has the, um, the cat logo in, uh, in camo here, in this gray camo. But let, me, let me move the box for a second and then I can show it to you. Okay, that's much better. <laughs> check it out. So they have these leather uppers up here. This part is leather. And here's a cool feature I didn't even notice right away, but these are like little hex, what do you call them? Like a little hex nuts or something. The eyelets are shape, have like a hex shape to them. I'll show you the sole. They have um, an oil resistant tread here. And then they have the, the cat logo there, too. And then if you look at the inside, it's just plain black. I think this is suede. I'm not entirely sure. Um, let's see. And then it has the um, cat logo on the tongue as well. I'll just untie this. So it has the uh, the cat logo there on the tongue too. It's pretty cool. So yeah, he um he actually needs boots like this sometimes for stuff that he does, like work and stuff. So I thought this would be a nice um, sturdy boot. Has a little pull tab back here. So you have this nice logo on it like this with a little registered trademark there so I just thought they were cool <laughs> I do I, I would love to have a pair but honestly um, I actually have a pair of brown hiking boots that look similar kind of similar to these so I mean if I needed any boots I would just wear those anyway but I just wanted to show you this stuff now we're going to take a look at some items from Dollar General. So the first item I have is um, a coloring book. Quite, quite a change from the boots, but I found this 
advanced coloring book at Dollar General for three dollars. Now, just to clear up any confusion, we have Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Family Dollar, and probably some others, but those are the main three. The only one that is strictly a dollar store is Dollar Tree. Now, Dollar General and Family Dollar, their items are not one dollar or less. They have things that are more. Most of the prices are kind of rounded, like it'll just be three dollars. Some things might be, you know, like three twenty-five, or you know, it'll be some, you know, number and then like twenty-five or fifty. But they don't do the ninety-nine cent thing. Um, but I, they actually have some really cool adult coloring books if you like that kind of thing. I do. I like to do these in the evenings to kind of wind down. And I have found some really nice ones at Dollar General. So this one is all just um, butterfly themed pictures. Ooh, that one's cool. It's the heart. Um, yeah, so... I like to do these find beauty in the small things. There's the butterfly. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, that one is really cool. <laughs> Let your spirit soar. Ooh, that's neat. Lots of flowers and butterflies. Ooh, those are small. So, yeah, I thought this one was kind of cool. I was in there looking for duct tape. There's always a reason to smile. Oh, I really like this one. Look at that. Wow, that is neat. Oh, this one fills the whole page. And it has little, little beetles, too. Oh, that one's nice. Hmm. I like all of them. Be inspired. My problem is, during this whole shelter in place thing, I have not been terribly inspired. I've tried to work on my story. You know, I've been working on a, a sequel to River Road, and I don't know. It's like I just, a lot of days, I just don't feel like it. Other days, I want to, but I just... It's like I just can't. Like my mind just freezes up. I'm going to try again tomorrow. But some, some days it's just, I don't know, it's like I'm anxious or something. I just can't do it. But, oh, that one's neat. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to work on it. Life is a joy filled with beautiful surprises. Oh, isn't that? Oh, that would be so pretty. Look at all the different patterns you could do on it. Mm hmm I thought it was a really good deal for $3. Hmm. Yeah, I thought it was pretty nice. This was made by Benden. B-E-N-D-O-N. It's really nice. Yeah, so this came from Dollar General. And uh, I found, you can find these in the toy section where they have just regular coloring books and word search books and things like that. That's, um, that's where I found this one. And it's from Benden, B-E-N-D-O-N. But they have, they have several different types. Usually when you go, you'll find five or six different types of books like this on any given day. And the next thing I wanted to show you also came from Dollar General. This, and I'm wearing it right now. It's this color right here. This is some nail polish from Believe Beauty. And it is a gel effect nail polish. The color name is Serene. And it's kind of, um, it's kind of gray, but it has a little tinge of like a bluish green to it. It's not totally gray. Um, but I thought I would try it out. Now, I do love the way it goes on. This is just one coat. And this was only $2.50, I think. It was either $2.50 or $3.50. I can't remember. Um, but it was on the end of an aisle. 
and they had a whole bunch of different uh, cosmetics from Believe Beauty. They had like uh, foundations, mascara, powders, all kinds of things. But I really, I don't know, this color just kind of jumped out at me and it just looked kind of, kind of cool. I thought I would try it. The, it goes on really nice. It, um, it's nice and thick. I didn't feel like I needed a second coat. I just did one coat and it turned out really, I thought it turned out really nice. And well, of course, I did put a top coat over it to give it a little bit more shine. But honestly, even before I put the top coat on it, it was already kind of shiny. Um, I was impressed with it. I know I do have a base coat under it. I'm kind of curious to see how it does as far as, you know, holding up to everyday wear and tear. But it's pretty right now. I really like it. It's quite, quite shiny. <laughs> it's really cool. So that again is a gel effect nail polish. Uh, and then the color name is Serene from Believe Beauty. And I found this at Dollar General. I've never seen this brand anywhere else. Um, so, yeah, but they had several different colors, but this is the one that I liked the best. And another thing that they had, I have never seen this before. This is from Maybelline. This is a fast gel nail lacquer. And I have to say the bottle is really cool. I love this, the handle here, the way it just kind of tapers like this. It has that nice little curve to it. That's cool. Now the color name is somewhere. Oh, it's right here on the sticker. It's called Vivid Vivid Violet number 125. It doesn't look very vivid or violet, but that's what it says. 125 Vivid Violet. Now they had several colors of this fast gel nail lacquer. Um they had one, it was a dark blue, it was really pretty, but it was really close to one I already have, so I didn't get one. Now these were $2.50 for the Fast Gel Nail Lacquer. Hey, let's try it. On, um, I'm going to get a sheet from the coloring book, and we'll try it and see, we'll see what it looks like. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, tear a sheet out of here that we can practice on. Well, I messed up. It, it's perforated, and I tried to tear it, and I I thought I had bent it back and forth enough for it to tear properly, but I messed up, so it's just as well that we're going to use this one to test it. Okay. Oh, nice brush. It's not one of those super skinny brushes. I don't like those. I'm going to try it right on this little wing of this dragonfly. Goes on pretty even. It's a nice smooth coat. I do like that. I'm going to do one more. I think it's going to be a nice color. I'm assuming from the name that it's a fast drying nail polish. There. It's shiny, but I think that's mainly because it's wet. But you can see the, the color. These actually, I think these two colors could look good together. So here we have the um, the Believe Beauty Serene, which I'm wearing, and it's, it may not look like it on your screen, but it's not totally gray. It has a hint of, almost like a hint of green to it. It's a unique, a unique color. I really like it. I'm just doing just a sample. Maybe here you can see that it looks a little green next to that purplish color. But it's it's kind of a greenish gray. 
It's really interesting. But I can say this one goes on a little bit smoother and a little bit thicker than this one. This one's okay, but I would imagine with the Maybelline Fast Gel, you would need uh, two coats. I don't think you could just do with one coat of this. I think if you just did one, it would look too uneven. You'd have to put it on really thick and then it would take 50 years to dry. So you would have to do two thin coats of that. But if it's a fast drying nail polish, maybe that won't be too bad. Okay, now those were just the little, these were just the little things I picked up at Dollar General. And now we're going to take a look at a package that I got from a subscriber. I just got it in the mail today. And we're going to look and see what's in it. I have not looked at it yet. We're going to look at it together and see what's in there. Okay. Look at this cute little package. This is a, a United States Postal Service Priority Mail package. It is a small flat rate box. So it's one rate, one rate any weight. And these things are great if you have something that's kind of small but heavy. And it can really save you money on shipping if you if it's small but heavy. I forget what the, the flat, I forget what the rate is, but yeah. So I have not looked in here. I did go ahead and pull this part open. And look what we have. I'm going to move it over here like we do the glam bags. And I see some beautiful iridescent filler. It's kind of like skinny Easter grass. Check it out. So let's pull these back. Oh, I'll tell you a little something I learned from doing eBay for so many years. Um, you see how they have this printing on the inside of the box? And it says priority mail postage required. Thank you for your purchase or something. Thank you for something. They do that so you don't swipe their boxes and turn them inside out and use them and, you know, like use them for first class or something. That It makes it a little harder. <laughs> You'd have to cover it with paper or something to cover up the priority po mail postage required stuff that's all over it. They do it with all of their packaging. Or most of it. Okay. So we have this pretty iridescent filler. Check it out. Oh my gosh, it's so sparkly. I love it. Isn't it pretty? Oh my gosh. It's so sparkly. It's so shiny. If I were an Easter basket, I would want to use this. what this is. Oh look it's a magnet. That is so cool. It's little bottles of wine and little breads. This is the cutest little oh it's just a little wooden tray with little miniature wine bottles and bread. How cool. It's from Deso. And it's in this cellophane. Back here you can see the magnet there. Let me uh, pop it out of this real quick. Okay. So this paper just pops off like this. How cute. Look at this little magnet. Oh, this is real wood too. And it has this little fabric checkered cloth here. Red and white checkered cloth. It's glued down to see the edges are glued. That is the cutest. <laughs> that is so precious. And so the little bottles are, are glued in there along with the bread. That is adorable. <laughs> I've never seen a magnet quite like that. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. I have more. Ooh, it's another one. Oh, now this is cool. So we have, let's see, all these, what do they say? Aperitif, aperitif, evangelie. Neat. And then we have these three. Fiorali, I can't pronounce these, I'm sorry. 
but it looks like they're in ice. Look, it's like they're chilling in the ice. And it's another wooden crate. These are so cute. Oh my goodness. I've got a little thing stuck on it. There we go. Look, you can see it's like little crystals in there. There's a lot of it. And they're nestled down in this, the, uh, the ice, keeping them chilled. Let's pop it out. Oh, you can really see how it sparkles once you take it out. Look at that. <laughs> Don't go there. Look at it. Ooh. That's cool. But it's it's a solid piece. And it's oh look like there's one lone ice cube sitting there. The detail is so cool. Look at it. It looks real. That is so neat. I've never seen magnets like this in my life. That is so cool. <laughs> What's this? I love this packing material. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Another one. Oh, this one's Evangeli. How cool. Look. Now this one is neat because it's standing up and it also has a checkered cloth in there in purple and white and a wine glass. And this is like a bucket of ice, I think. It actually kind of looks like a bucket of marshmallows. <laughs> a bucket of marshmallows with wine may not be too bad depending on the wine. champagnes. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> These are cute. That is so cool. They look so real. They look so real. Look at them. I love miniatures. I do. I, I don't know what it is about just miniatures. Just, I don't know. I love, like, I love little trial size things of shampoo or toothpaste or just, they're just adorable. I don't know. Every time I see them, I want to buy them, even if I have no use for them at all. I still want, I still have this urge to buy them and take them home. I don't know what I'd do with them. I just, I just want to do that. These are so cool. Look at that. <laughs> that is just, I have never seen magnets like this. And one more thing. Oh, it's like a cutting board. Look. It's a cutting board with a little tiny loaf of bread. And it's been cut. You can see the slices. And here's the knife right here. It's like a resin cutting board. And then you're going to have this rectangular magnet on the back. Oh, that is so cute. Look at that. You know what? I have a cutting board exactly like this. I do. Downstairs. It's really cool. That looks just like mine. <laughs> that is so cool. So it has a little hole there, like if you were going to hang it up. That is really cool. It's heavy, too. This is a, a really substantial, heavy magnet. That is awesome. I love the detail. It looks like it has like poppy seeds or something on the top of the bread. It's so pretty. 
it's it's sort of yellowish like like it's cheesy or something like a cheesy bread that would go perfectly with our our drinks here <laughs> these are so cute oh my gosh these are so cool and then i have a note let me see says, hi Mary, just a little gift to thank you for all that you do. I hope this note finds you and your family safe and well. It's Megan, ASMR in Texas. Thank you so much, Megan. I really love it. These magnets are so cool. Thank you. Yes, we are doing really well. Everybody is doing okay. And I hope that you are doing well. The kids, um, actually, my older son just admitted to me yesterday that he actually misses going to school. He said, Mom, I never thought I would say this, but I actually want to go back to school. <laughs> he is so bored. He is so tired of being here. And I said, I know. <laughs> it's funny. I never thought I would hear him say that. Now, my younger son is totally fine with it. He doesn't care. He, he doesn't want to go back. They're doing their online schoolwork every day, and, you know, so we're doing the best we can. But thank you again so much, Megan. I really love my four magnets here. These are so cool. I have to know where you found these. These are, these are just neat. I, I, I love miniatures, and I love magnets. So these are cool. These are just perfect for me. I really appreciate it. So that is everything I had to show you today. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And I hope that um, wherever you are today, that you're doing okay. I've been thinking about you. And I hope that you're safe and well. And I will see you again really soon.